Okay, okay, wait. Am I getting this right? So, she's a witch, he's a witch hunter, she publicly humiliates him, they now need to get married. <laughs> why is that the stupidest thing I've ever heard? <laughs> and why do I like it? Why do I like it? <laughs> I mean, I can see it from her perspective that, I mean, her choices are either life and death. It's either prison and hanging or marriage where you can potentially run away. It's the weirdest thing, but I love it. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's talk serpent and dove. So except for the clip you saw previously um not a lot happens <laughs> until the end um so for most of the book we get like the fast track introduction thingy and then for most of the book they're just like sitting hanging around not doing much of anything there's very little i want to say it's it's the getting to know each other portion of it all but i don't feel like they do and it's not like they find out a whole lot about first off each other and then stuff about themselves that they don't know and you know history and stuff the, the important things for us as a reader however it comes in the end um, so for like most of the book, nothing happens. It's semi-entertaining, we get a bit of a, oh, you're over here, what? But <laughs> not, not like, I, I, not enough for a big book this big. Um, <laughs> how many pages is there? Um, it's 500 something, 519 pages? Yeah, I think it's 519 pages. That's a whole lot of pages for not a whole lot to happen. But then we come to the end part, the the ending, as it were. And that's when, like, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> and that's when we get the action. The action that we may have been craving for the entirety of the book. I'm not saying it was boring by any means. It's... It was entertaining enough to keep me going and I mean it's not I mean it's pretty decent sized font and all that so I mean 519 pages flew by pretty fast I'm not gonna lie but also wow yeah there's not a whole lot I can say about this book without spoiling it I will say so you know they meet oh there's there was one thing that I didn't like realize until the end it's that their names <laughs> make up Lou Reed does this author like Lou Reed question for the audience <laughs> people of the world I don't know all right so um <laughs> that wasn't what I was gonna say so it's pretty clear that these two characters they are enemies uh, it's very enemies to lovers Yes, um, they are enemies, they are the opposite sides of things, but still, at least Lou anyway, she has a bit of an open mind, but also she is, I, I guess, scared L Reed will find out who she actually is. It's so obvious, they are on the opposite side, and then they're like forced together, close proximity, and then all of a sudden it's, I love you. I love you so much. I've never loved anyone else. Not true. Um, <laughs> it's so insta-lovey and it came out of nowhere. I, I, it came out of nowhere. That portion of the book where they were supposed to be getting to know each other and we would have had that build up, yet that didn't really exist. They just fell into love from being enemies. <laughs> I mean, Reed doesn't technically know their enemies, but he doesn't necessarily like her to start. Uh, I mean, he's attracted to her, yes, but still. Where does that come from? I don't know. Anyway, 
on to book two because I did manage to get all three books from the library so I shall be reading all of them yes I shall so what actually happens in this book I'm not really sure honestly I'm not really sure from book one they are now like on the run from the big bad the little gang um, but they're also out and about trying to recruit alliances with other other people other groups out and about and it's like okay sure sure but the whole book it feels like the characters are just sat in one big room and not actually going anywhere but at the same time the characters are not always together so how does that work i don't know it's the lack of i i think it's the lack of like setting information we don't actually get a description of where we're at or like that anything's happening so for the entirety of the book i just felt like we were just in one room i mean sure a door opened every once in a while and stuff like that but it didn't feel like they were moving even though they were meeting new people and they were technically on the road but there was no description of it literally no description and i was like what <laughs> so i read somewhere that this was the conclusion to the duology just reading that knowing there are three books i was like but the three books how is it a duology how does that work I don't know <laughs> um, it does not work um, so my guess is this because when we get it's a chunky 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 book because when we get towards the end we start to get that uh, you know final battle of the series of the book thing we start to get that this is this is to start to the end and then the book sort of just ends so my guess is um, they wrote more than they could fit into one book and so a third book was born but also <laughs> what actually happens <laughs> what actually happens i'm actually not sure i'm really not sure i i am going to to finish the series i have you can't tell but it's the third book is right over there sec here uh this time it's in hardback for some reason uh so yeah chunky book this one as well <laughs> i'm gonna finish the series because now i'm just in the middle of it and i now i just need to know is it is it gonna end are they gonna do anything in this one i don't know we shall see bonus points though they are um so far it's been very easy to read which is why i've just kind of flown through it but also, I have no idea what's happening. There's a lot of things happening, but also nothing. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the fact that there's just a lot of dialogue and nothing of, no, no setting description, no, this is where we are now. Or Honestly, at this point, I would have almost wanted to have and and then I went in the kitchen and I opened the refrigerator. I looked around a bit and I saw nothing. So I closed the refrigerator and I went back to bed. Even that would have enticed me at this point. But we'll see with book three. Will it bring an end to the whole thing? I mean, the, the whole series has started a bit like, what the hell is this? Um, but now I'm just kind of into it. <laughs> Except I'm confused because I don't know what's happened. Something's happened, but I don't, yeah, yeah. This, this, this is a mess. <laughs> uh, I'll see you when I finish book three. Um, what was this? What, what was this? So we pick up from where book two left with the cliffhanger and all that, but then it, we, we sort of get to an ending. But then we get a new plot and, and then we just go around in circles and then we're back at the beginning. Like, what was this? <laughs> what was it? 